let's do a quick drive um, in the 2004 XJ8 Vandenpla. I'm not going to go far. There's a couple things that are interesting about the car that I'd at least show you as the super highway picks up behind me. Just washed it. So the car um, does most things automatically. Uh, when you put the key in, let's do this again. When you put the key in, steering wheel and the seat adjust to me. <laughs> Tell me to put on my seat belt. The, um, the suspension is automatic. In other words, it's self-leveling air suspension. The, um, the suspension also changes from um, standard to sport mode automatically if you're driving um, briskly or with spirited driving, I think they say, then um, it will firm up. Uh, or you can press the sport button here, which doesn't do much except turn on that light. Um, it doesn't drive much differently. The throttle's a bit more aggressive. Uh, and the engine comes up on cam a little faster because um, it does have a variable um, variable cam engine, 4.2 liter, uh, 300 horsepower um, V8. The the uh, uh, parking brake is here is electric, but you never touch it. It's automatic. When you put the car in park and you turn the key off, you can hear the the brake sets, and when you put the key in and start the car put it in reverse you can see the brake light still on as soon as I put it in reverse the brake light goes off the brake turns off and the car will go you never really know it's doing it so it's back out here it does have reverse sensors and it's very quiet Now we're just going over here where I'm going to shoot a video of the outside of it. Um, it's a big, bit bigger driveway here. I can walk around and there's some sun. So this would be a chance to take a look at the rest of the car. It's a 2004 Jaguar XJ8 Vandenpla. Uh, the Vandenpla is, is an interior package among other things um, it gives you the better quality leather it's uh gives you the lamb's wool carpet and that kind of stuff but here's the look around the outside it needs a wax it's usually this time of year i clay bar and wax the car just haven't had time it's quite a pretty car. Look at the uh, interior. The interior with the Von Impla has the um, has the gold lines in the wood. Uh, that's burl walnut. Uh, the piping and the seats and the headrests. Um, you get leather. Everything. Um, the that the center console is leather. The uh, and this is leather. This is leather. All this around the top, leather. The same leather as the seats, which is all Connolly hides. Um, the back seat, same. The inside of the armrest, leather. The cup holders are in here, and that's just storage for a pen and whatnot. This is. Uh, an executive car um, this is leather and you can see in the back side it's a it's a really nice high grain leather so I mean everything the back seats are heated uh, as are the front seats um, back seats have their own little ashtray that's never been used um, sound system is quite impressive in the car 
trunk is huge. Push the button and it will pop open. Electrically closes as well. Um, it's got a great big trunk. Um, there's a uh, CD changer in here if you're still into that. It's here. The CD changer. The fiddle exit. Maybe it doesn't like it that the car is locked. Um, and then this one is the computer for the navigation system. I just took all the discs out of there. Underneath here is a spare tire. This is, uh, I, the car sits in the garage a lot, um, weeks at a time. I keep it plugged into a battery tender just to keep the battery up. Uh, underneath here is a full-size spare. You can see I had the cover open. I'm messing with things. Wheel chocks tools everything is there and we'll go ahead and leave this battery charger underneath here just to get it out of the way when this uh when this is open it hooks here if you need to leave it open and then again with the uh, soft closing trunk the gas door opens with a button on the inside Another view of the interior. I really love the color of the interior. It's like an oatmeal. I figure what they can call this interior color, but it's quite pretty. Power seats, of course, heated. Uh, three zone heated, heated steering wheel. Um, the driver's side heat does not work. Um, I need to look at it, see if it's unplugged. I never really use it, but um, that is an issue. There's airbags everywhere in the car, side airbags. Um, the ones over the over your head. This one's in the seat. There's one here. There's a, shoot, where is it? I saw a tag on here somewhere. I think there's one in here. There's one in there. Anyway, there's airbags all over this thing. Uh, sunglasses, nice wood up here, sunroof, which I need to uh, start the car to do. Well, let's say with the CD changer. There's a little trick here. I'll push this button again. Uh, this is the rear sunscreen, which you can see just came up. I'll push it again. Just keeps the sun off the rear passengers. Uh, this is a programmable remote for your garage door. Uh, this is the sunroof. Which is, of course, automatic. press it the other way and it pops up and you can open it part way uh, if you open it fully it's it doesn't thunder so much in here because there's an air deflector that pops up right here you can see this little air deflector pops up and I'll open the hood it's running And let's see here. 4.2 um, V8. It's very quiet. All right, well, the um, car's warmed up now. Climate control is all set. Front and uh, front two zone climate control, of course. Um, CD player, I may have a disc in it. Oh, yeah, of course, it does. That's Led Zeppelin. Hey, hey, mom said the way you move, gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. <laughs>
that uh, funny voice is the is the camera. This is a dash cam. It's it's set in the car so well. I probably will just leave it. Um, it does a uh, uh, ultra high definition, uh, not 4K, but uh, more than 1080p. I forget what it is, 1440 or something like that. Uh, day night video of everything, including GPS. Um, so if there's ever an accident, you've got a video of it. This um, navigation system, I've already kind of got it set up to go somewhere. Um, you can uh, cancel the route or whatever you want to do. We'll change to a different place. No, we'll change to... No, we'll stick with one. That's, that's Washington, Oregon, Idaho. Uh, we'll go to some place I've been in the past. I don't know where that is. Let's go here, Bell Red Road. We'll set that as a destination. It'll do a little calculating. The only reason to use this is because of this voice. Guidance will start when you join the highlighted route. <laughs> uh, anyhow, what else does it do? The menu system, uh, you can change your volume presets uh, so that when you start the car, you can set it to like a max volume. You can change the logo screen to be on or off. Um, system setup is a security system that is uh, in the vehicle settings. You can have the two stage unlock, which is the two where you hit unlock once and it unlocks the driver's door. Hit it twice and it unlocks the, all the doors. And then auto fold mirrors is if you hit the button, the lock button twice, it'll fold the mirrors in. So there's that. Um, what else? It's got a great stereo system. I think I've already covered that. Um, I'll go to audio. The climate control system, I just leave it in auto. Just hit the auto button, set your temperature, and forget it. It does everything itself. It tries to make the fan as quiet as possible, but there's actually a mute button for the fan. And you can hear the fan blowing now, kind of. This car is all about quiet. So when you hit the mute button, it turns the, the fan speed down to make it quieter. Instead, I leave it in auto. So that way if you're getting in here and it's blasting because it's really hot outside and you just got in the car and it's cooling off if you don't like all the noise you can hit the mute button and you know whatever um, the telephone system is not installed in this car um, you wouldn't want it anyways it came with a phone in the center console um, it wasn't a bluetooth thing uh, but the only thing that is that is functional right now with this thing is if we go to audio and we'll just skip to the next song here this little button here uh, will mute the audio so if you have a phone call coming in you can um, mute it and I use a um, I use a Bluetooth system right here just this little guy I plug this in the cigarette lighter and it has an FM transmitter and then I just listen to it that way and it works fine for phone calls um, Oh man, there's just so many things. I'll show you one more cool thing and then I'll stop screwing around here. This is kind of a cool thing. This you cannot do wirelessly like you could on my old Mercedes. Um, but if it's hot, you can put the key in the door and you can hold unlock. Uh, oh, didn't hold it long enough. Hold unlock and wait. And it'll open all the windows in the sunroof. And if you just, you know, wanted to cool the car off, that's a good way to do it. And then if you um, put the key in and turn it to lock and hold, it'll roll up all the windows. Close the sunroof. This car is just full of cool features like that.